Go. All right. Welcome back to the Steps to Freedom class. We're going over number seven on the miracle list tonight. It's overcoming rejection. I wanted to say earlier that all of our problems began right here with rejection. Everything. This is the king cobra of demons. All right. So on the miracle list that if you ask me for a copy or if you're working off of self deliverance, I believe it's number seven. It says, watch the videos. So tonight we're going to watch part of overcoming rejection. There are five videos listed there. Uh, number one, I just said overcoming rejection. Number two is ministering to the mentally ill. These are teachings Mike has done. Okay. Uh, anxiety disorders. We're going to watch part of that one also. Number four is autoimmune diseases and five is miracle blockers. So five videos, you know, Mike's videos are like a couple hours long. So you're going to listen. Okay. You're going to listen. And I really recommend, oh, here's the YouTube channel. So it's uh, www.youtube.com backslash house of healing AZ. If you go to YouTube and type in house of healing AZ and then space uh, the topic, then you're likely to find it pretty easily. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do, we're going to watch part of it and then I'm going to ask you finish watching it through the week. So I want you to listen and take notes. So write that down. You're going to listen to the rest or listen tonight. Actually take notes. He goes over so much valuable information in this video. I apologize ahead of time. The audio is clear, but the visual portion of the video is not as clear, but, but you can hear everything and just write down some notes. When you're watching or listening in your own time, pause it, go back, listen, write some stuff down. At two hours, write this down, at two hours is the prayer deliverance time. So the, at timestamp two hours, that's, I want you to make sure that you're somewhere quiet and private. Okay. This is the deliverance service portion of the message. So make sure you're someplace quiet, private, could be in your car, could be in a room. It could be, you know, I don't know where in the park, maybe not in the park. I could be, I don't know. Someplace though, try not to be out for a walk. Try not to do it while other people are around you if possible. This is not going to, um, don't say, well, I'll do it during my 15, 20 minute shower. No, that's not long enough. Okay. It's best if you could just be in your room by yourself, have some tissues, have a little trash can, put your tissues in, or if something comes up, you start crying or whatever, you get some phlegm in your throat, spit that stuff out. Do not swallow it back down. Okay. Um, how spirits come out. I want to kind of briefly go over this. So, while you're listening to this session, he usually starts a prayer and then he starts casting out. Just pray along with him in your mind. You could do it out loud, but just be like, yeah, you know, rejection, come out of me, come out and, and be serious, be thinking and, and pay attention to how you feel. Maybe you want to put your hands like on your tummy. Okay. Maybe you're feeling anxiety and you want to put your hands where you feel nervousness or anxiousness. Maybe your head is hurting. Put your hand on your head. Okay. And just be internalizing what he is saying. Spirits come out through breath. I would say 90% of the time they come out through yawns. They come out through coughing. They can come out with some like, <laughs> you know, some, some spit out. You, some people throw up. It's rare, but it does happen. Okay. You might have to run to the restroom. They come out that way too. So just hurry up, run, pause it and go to the restroom, come back. All right. I've heard, uh, instances where a person said they felt air come out of their ear. The spirit came out of their ear that way. And then I've uh, talked with some people and maybe even like earlier, like I was praying and my head just cleared. It was heavy and then it just kind of dissipated. Now it feels better. Okay. 
And so that's how they come out. Did I miss anything? Okay. So, so just be aware of that. Don't be afraid. Um, I will say this. Rejection. Tears. Oh, yeah, tears. Definitely tears. Spirits come out through tears. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're crying. Oh, they come out. Um, remarkable. Uh, I experienced hot tears. Very hot. Those are spirits coming out, for sure. Mm -hmm. I just let them out. I love the scripture. I mentioned it last week about how the Lord collects our tears in a bottle. So don't hold back. Don't be stingy with your tears. Let them come out. All right. Um, also, once you start going through self-deliverance, and that's what we call that self-deliverance, when you're at home, maybe listening to something, or you're commanding spirits that come out of yourself, we call that self-deliverance. Okay. Um, if you start to shake, if you start to have some, you know, feelings, some uncomfortable feelings, I want you to just think about it. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> Rel try to relax. Okay. And, and tell that thing to come out, come out shaky, come out pain in my side, come out. You could say that. All right. And so you're just telling those things to come out. Try not to get scared. Try not to freak out. All right, just let them come right out. They don't have to be a big show. It doesn't have to be a, oh, they come out through sneezing. <laughs> yes, sneezing. All right, so I think I covered it, how they come out now. I think I got everything. So just relax. So we're gonna watch this overcoming rejection. And so you watch along with us or go on to the YouTube and watch it, pause it, take notes. We're not gonna pause during our session here. But then um, once we get to about 34 minutes, I'm going to cut it off and then we'll go into group time.